Hello, I'm Jarvis Hunt with Wayner Global, and today we're going to do some service work on our 10.7 Everchill refrigerator. And some of the tools you'll need is a screw gun with a Phillips bit and a small screwdriver. We're going to start with the freezer fan assembly. First thing you're going to need to do is remove the small screw covers. There's two of them, one on the top and one on the left and right. Remove your screws. Then you can pull out on the top, but be careful because the, the plug is right here on the top left corner. You're gonna have to reach in there and unplug it. And the assembly is removed. And if you hear a noise, it's because this wire has been pulled out of the clips. So that's an easy replace repair. You can just put, put it back in here, put some tape on it, and you'll be good to go. Now to reassemble it, Just gonna slide it in there and ensure that the wind it's locked in place in the bottom. Reach back here and, pl and plug your uh, your fan in. And push it back in place. Reinstall your screws and your screw covers. Now we're gonna go on to our wind channel in the refrigerator. You got one screw right here. And this will come down and you have, you have three connections. You have your, your LED light strip, your, your uh, thermostat control board, and then your thermostat. Inside the wind channel, you have the, the digital control board for your, your uh, thermostat control. You have your thermostat and your refrigerator LED light. Now to reinstall this, I'm just gonna reconnect all your connections. And then just ensure that your, your, your drain goes back in the hole. And reassemble. I'll show you how to remove the terminal block that is attached to the back of the refrigerator. You're gonna to wanna to remove your power and your ground wires coming from your coach. Then you're gonna to wanna to remove the power and ground wires coming from the refrigerator. And then you got two screws that hold it to the refrigerator itself. And now we'll remove and replace the components in the back of the refrigerator. The first thing we're going to need to do is remove the, the back grill. You have four screws holding the, gr the grill in place.
Here we have two components. You have a circuit board inside this enclosure and then you have a compressor board attached right to compressor. Remove these two screws here and remove the whole enclosure. You have one screw holding the cover on. Ensure that you take precaution. This is very sharp and can cut your fingers. Now we have, we have access to the control board. There's one screw that holds it into the enclosure right here. And it's just got little tabs that hold it in place and can be removed. Disconnect all your connectors. Get your ground wire, another ground wire. Then your power. And another power wire. Now you have your your control board, your circuit board uh, removed. Now you can replace it with your, your new component. Now we're gonna reinstall our connectors. We'll start with our, our two power wires. Then our two ground. proceed to install the rest of the connectors. can't mess these up because they're all they're all different pins so they only fit in one one socket now we're going to reinstall it back into the, the enclosure ensuring that all the wires run through the, the cutouts so we don't smash any of the wires when we put the top on Sure that all the wires are in the, the cutouts. And again, be careful with this cover because it's very sharp. Install it into the cabinet. Now we'll move on to our compressor board. We have one screw right here. that and when you pull this out you put the plug behind here you take your screwdriver and just pry that plug off and pull this out and 
you're gonna run to remove your your ground and your power and your signal wire and signal ground. Now you've removed your compressor board. Now to reinstall it. I recommend installing it on the compressor before you make your connections with your spade terminals. Plug this back into the side of the compressor. Make sure that's seated all the way onto the compressor. And there's a little tab in the back that we need to put the compressor board into. And then slide it back over to, to line the screw hole. Now you can make your electrical connections. The top one is your ground. The second one is going to be your 12 volts. And then you got your signal power and signal ground. Now you can reinstall your, your back grill. And that is how you service the components on the 10.7 Evertrail refrigerator.